Alrighty, hi everyone. So we are Group D, and so for our Affirming Diversity project um, and the pre presentation that we created, we wanted to do um, sort of like some recipes from around the world. We wanted our um, product to focus on bringing together cultures and different um, cultural backgrounds of students into the classroom and how we could physically do that within um, the restraints of a classroom. So I'm Shri, um, I'm also here with Caitlin and Samantha, and we're gonna be presenting our project. Um, and I, and I is also part of our group. She wasn't able to um, meet for our recording of the presentation, but she did contribute lots to our presentation. So we wanted to mention that as well. Um, so for the beginning of our project, we did create an online cookbook, and this is how it would function if you were to utilize it in a classroom. So for our cookbook, there's going to be a couple different sections. Um, we're going to go over our homepage that we created. We then did create a contact us page, a chef page, and a menu page that are going to go into more depth of what the assignment would look like in a classroom. So um, this is just going to be if we want to kind of scroll down through the um, through the purpose of this assignment and if we want to go all the way to the bottom so we did just put um that if we want to scroll up just a little bit that way we can see our quote perfect so we did make this website in order to show that um, students come from a variety of different backgrounds and all of their backgrounds should be um um, showcased and celebrated in the classroom. We know that um, incorporating students' culture into the classroom is a way for them to feel um, welcome in their environment. And if they feel welcome in their environment, they're going to be more engaged in the classroom. So we thought doing something that utilizes um, food as a connection to people's culture would be really good for students. And then, so yeah, we, it, it's able to connect people and um, it's a way to appreciate other cultures. And then at the bottom, we just had some class comments that you would be able to take and utilize um, and just get different viewpoints of how students liked the assignment or not. Okay, our next page is the contact us page, which we anticipate using for like, if this is an extended like unit project, maybe having a classroom potluck where our students who are the chefs could invite their families to attend. So that's what that reservation button that you have been seeing is all about. And we have a map to where our school is located. So um, that's, you know, taken care of. I picture it like a nice potluck where students can, you know, really serve their families, give back to the people that, you know, probably writ wrote these recipes that these students are taking them from. Um, something that we come with empty be bellies and a leave with a full heart reserve your spot now, just a place to have conversation and connect with um, the students' families and get to learn from one another. Food can bring people together and even having something like this where students can share their favorite family meals can really get further conversations started and get our students to connect with each other. And we just wanted to have a page where the family or whoever is viewing this um, website, somebody in the school community could see the purpose of this um, assignment and this uh, website. And this is something we anticipate being for our secondary students. So high schoolers where they're creating this website all on their own. Um, this is something that we mentioned later on in the website, but we wanted our, our class to come up with um, their community, why they decided to create this page. And it's something that is for the surrounding community. Like if it's in Las Cruces, the Las Cruces community, or even the surrounding New Mexican community for our students to share their uh, recipes and their uh, cookbook with. And then just a quick look into the classroom and then a uh, uh, warning uh, just for allergies and stuff like that. Most of these won't be um, looked out for that, but if you have allergies like the allergies, gluten-free stuff like that, just to keep an eye out for. And then just another fun picture and then um, any questions or concerns for the teacher to address, we left that for um, the community to um, contact uh, the educator. And then the chef page will be um, where the students have the opportunity to introduce themselves. We just picked four um, examples and then we have one example of what an ex exemplar section of this website would look like for the students. So Matthew James is our example student and he 
we wanted to write out like an example so the students know what we're looking for in the recipes and what they should be doing to connect the recipes to their culture. So Matthew James, it comes from a Chicano family. He has a Hispanic side and a uh, um, Caucasian side. So he um, explains his culture in this little about me section. So um, his, he's a generational Hispanic New Mexican, which is a cornerstone to his culture and a generational Southerner from Oklahoma. Um, his, something that he connects with his culture is hearing red or green in a, his Tia's um, kitchen or hearing the pot roast simmer um, in his granny's kitchen, stuff like that. We want our students to really focus on with the cultural aspect. What do you think of when you think of your family, but what food do you think of when you think of sitting with your Tia Francis on a Sunday night or going over to Granny Grimes's house for a pitcher of iced tea? We want our students to really think about that stuff and write about it in this section. And then um, explaining where our dishes come from, the inspiration behind that, and why our students decided to choose this and how it connects to their culture is what this section is all about. Okay, so um, for the menu portion of the section, again, we have that little reservations button, but if you scroll down, same thing, we used um, Matthew James as our example, um, but as opposed to, you know, the page we were just on where you're explaining kind of what you think of when you think of your family, this is for them to actually pick that recipe that they um, kind of connect with the most or the one, you know, that's the most used or popular or that you see at every family gathering or whatever that may be to you. I think everyone kind of has, you know, that one dish in their family. Um, so for him, for example, he he picked a, gr a green chili cheeseburger. Um, I was told that um, that was because, you know, it really represents that Caucasian side with, you know, a basic hamburger, but it also brings that green chili into it, which is something they get from their Chicano side and, you know, something that you definitely see even just in New Mexico in general. So it could be something like that, you know, regional or just something that, you know, really stands out to the student himself. Um, and then obviously towards the bottom, each student here would be able to post a picture of the dish, which I thought was really interesting too, because it, um, it really shows, you know, the dish, like many students may not know some of these other dishes and it, they can use this picture for anything if they want to put a picture of them cooking it with their family members or their family members eating it or, you know, just how the dish is presented. All of that is involved in their culture and how they do things and a lot of cultures, the way you plate things is important. Um, and they can bring that into this part as well. They can give those pictures, those examples, um, definitely here to give ingredients and you know how these dishes should be made so that they can be taken home and other students can try them they can try them with their family if we you know didn't get to the external part where we could bring family members in um, this is definitely a good thing to have because now many people can find this recipe and they can try it for themselves and you know then the kids get to talking about how much they love this recipe or this one was their favorite and it just really opens the conversation for these kids to be able to you know talk about this and bring up these differences in their home lives and what they eat daily and how that may vary I don't think they think about that super often but um, it really opens up that conversation for them to be able to talk about it and normalize it and make them comfortable with it and and I think that creates a really good environment for them. And it, it also lets them have some fun and try new things and be open to that. And I think that that's what this whole website is about. That was the end of our presentation. I have no idea how to end it.